Hi there, this is Abhishek and welcome to Data Science Tutorials and in this video I will continue my conversation of text analytics in R. If you remember a couple of days back I shared the first video of introduction of text analytics in R where I talked about the SMS spam data that we are using in this series and how we can visualize it after you know doing some data cleaning as well as uh, creating a separate column which talks about the length of messages. So if you have not watched this video, I will suggest that before watching this video, please go ahead and watch the first video and then come to this video for the second tutorial. And before I move ahead, just a quick information that if you are interested in learning ClickView, then you can visit my channel Data and Tools and some something related to Tableau and other programming language, then you can visit my channel BI and programming videos. But generally I'm sharing Tableau videos of now over here. All right, so what we're going to achieve in this video? Well, here is this. Uh, first of all, we will going to use the TM package, which is nothing but the text mining uh, package for doing the data mining in R. The second thing is about uh, as per the uh, requirement of TM package, we will going to create a corpus of words. So what it does is basically, as you have, uh, as you must have seen in the first video, that you have somewhere around five thousand lines of data within the SMS uh, text file. So each line will be created in a separate document for the anal analysis perspective. Next thing is about cleaning the data by you know, uh, removing numbers, stop words, punctuation, etc. So that we are just looking at those words which are meaningful to us and helpful in our analysis for drawing the meaningful converse, uh, conclusions. And the next thing is, uh, before we go ahead and do the modeling and start doing the prediction, we need to create a document term matrix, which basic, which is uh, the study of frequency or similarity of data and basically helps create a matrix kind of, uh, uh, you know, met or actually the matrix uh, in a simple way, which uh, is a cross section of uh, the words, the number of words, and then in each row, how they are coming up as per their frequency. All right, so the next thing is, let me go to R and where I have the commands already written for you. So, until here, we uh, saw it, the things in action over here. And let me maximize this so we can re reduce the dis distraction. The next thing, as I mentioned in the first step, that we will going to use the TM package for data mining. So let me go ahead and press Control Enter. So now we have the library. The next thing, as we talked about over here is that we will create a corpus of words which is the requirement of the tm package so what we will going to do we will create sms underscore corpus object what we are doing is we are using the corpus function which is the part of the text mining package and within that we are passing the vector source to basically tell that here within this text file or this r object which is importing the text file is basically you know providing you this text vector so with that let me hit control enter and now we have sms underscore corpus object and then we can print it to see the number of rows basically so if i print it what it gives us the result is nothing but that we have triple five nine or five 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 nine documents that's nothing but the number of rows that you had for SMSs. If you want to look inside these documents or inside uh, what each line represents, then here is one, two, three is basically nothing but one, two, three row of these text. So if I press Control Enter, so here is this. Hope you are having a good week. Just checking in. Okay, give my back. This is the second one, if I recall it correctly, but you can open your file, which I shared in the description of last video. And the third is, uh, I'm also doing in CBE only, but I have to pay some, some messages. So that's how you can see it uh, inside the SMS corpus once it is uh, in the 
uh, tm as per the tm package it's it's the text mining object that has become but probably uh, the pro problem is that you cannot view it directly so you have to use the inspect command or the inspect function over here now the next thing is cleaning up the corpus for similar words uh, as we mentioned at a high level that we need to as a step three we need to clean the data by removing numbers stop words punctuation so that's what we will going to do it over here so to do that let's go ahead and start that process so the first thing is uh, we need to translate all the letters to lowercase and to do that all that cleaning we will use the main function tm underscore map if you want to know more about that you can put question mark and say tm underscore map hit enter it's what it does is basically transformations on corpora nothing but the corpus data that we created with the help of the corpus function and then we just need to supply the functions uh, that uh, is kind of an inbuilt function for uh, tm underscore map function so it's like two underscore lower argument is nothing but for whatever words that you have in the sms underscore corpus it will move it into a lower case so let's do that control enter the second thing is removing the numbers because that does not provide uh, a lot of value here in case of a sms data so control enter and uh, and I just noticed that here two lower is mentioned. So what we need to mention is remove numbers, remove numbers, and that's pretty much all. So one thing is this. Another thing is uh, in the first function and in the first argument, SMS underscore corpus is the one that we have used. And then we have created the object SMS underscore corpus underscore clean. And then in the next tm underscore map function, we are using sms corpus underscore clean because that's what that's how we're going to build uh, step by step on the cleaning of the corpus. So sms underscore corpus underscore clean, remove numbers, control enter, and we are good. Third is basically removing the punctuation, comma, semicolon, dot, any other thing that we have. So I'll just go into the end. And again, the argument is very simple, just two argument. The previously, uh, you know, created SMS underscore corpus clean. We remove the uh, numbers, convert into a lower course, and then we are removing the punctuation. Control enter, and then removing these stop words like our, me, I, ourselves, etc. So for that, uh, we are using remove words, but we need to use the third argument, which is stop words so this is a special case because we want to specify what kind of words that we want to remove so if you are interested in looking at uh, what are all the things that you can do related to the remove words like one of the option is removing the stop words you can go and put a question mark on remove words and get more idea about it all right let's control enter and uh, after that we need to remove the unnecessary white space so the argument is strip white space for the sms underscore corpus clean again the function will be same tm underscore map for transformation and the same object we are storing the clean data control enter all right we are pretty much done with these five steps so first one is to lower convert it into a lowercase then removing the numbers then removing the punctuation removing words removing the white spaces all of these as you can see are very very straightforward and pretty much rhetorical in almost every data mining uh, case study or the project that you will be doing you will have to do all of these steps to really put your corpus into a clean stage and then need to create a document term matrix but before that let's take a little idea about how our uh, clean corpus of sms are looking like so for that we need to use inspect function as mentioned previously so this is the command uh, it's basically saying show us one two three rows and we will hit control enter and here we have shown with three documents uh, in it isn't just one line earlier it was mentioned like this but now you can see how it has been changed 
so you can clearly see the difference that a lot of things have been removed which were unnecessary so after this we need to create the document or matrix as i mentioned in my document that once we have cleaned the data we can create the document or matrix to study word frequency and similarity all right uh, let's go here and this is the command this is the function document term matrix is basically uh, helpful or is the one we need to use to create the document or matrix uh, which can which is nothing but uh, it helps doing the tokenization of corpus so that we can count in each of the row how many times that has been occurred all right so for that simply press control enter and as you can see we have stored this into sms underscore dtm and we have just provided sms corpus clean that we clean that it over here after this the last command in this video is uh, to inspect it uh, how the values are coming together so what we are doing is we are looking at sms underscore dtm first to 10 rows and 10 to 15 columns there will be a n number of columns based on the n number of words that it will be having so we are just looking at its subset 10 to 15 those row those columns or those words which are appearing from 10 to 15 column and for them 1 to 10 rows control enter and here this is how it is looking like in first row nothing is coming but in the third row cb is coming so this is kind of a frequency in fourth row uh, PPM or uh, cash is coming and then collection is coming and complementary is coming in fifth row uh, only cash is coming so this is what do what it is doing is basically helping us understand how these words are coming in each of the row so that we can do the counting or we can really measure and if we can measure it we can model it so with that principle we are at a stage where uh, we can now really measure our words which are coming in the different messages and once uh, it is we are here then the next step will be uh, the approach for doing the modeling and then doing the prediction of data so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video about how you can use the uh, TM package which is for text mining create a corpus clean the corpus and then create a document or matrix and then how you can interpret the results of document or matrix uh, so that you can understand it in a meaningful way or if you need to make somebody understand about the results that you are getting from document or matrix you can easily go ahead and uh, take this example and show it to them about this is nothing but the frequency of each word in each of the row in which they are appearing so in the next video uh, we will going to talk about or we will discuss uh, the modeling part and then we will see uh, the best way of uh, or the better way of doing the modeling on this document or matrix that we have created sms underscore dtn but before i close i want to give you a small trick or a small uh, extension or i would say a better way of uh, cleaning all of this data in a much better way and then creating a documental matrix is to use the control list in the document uh, term matrix so if you could if you have seen we use this document term matrix to corpus clean we can use the sms underscore corpus underscore clean and whatever you know uh, the cleaning that we have done above in each individual line we can provide it as a control over here and part of a list that we want lower is equals to true remove number is equals to true stop word is equals to true remove punctuation is equals to true and strip white spaces it will do the same thing that we have done so far in these multiple lines it's just that uh, within the document term matrix it becomes really easy and those who are really advanced into it and uh, knows the knows this package very well uh, you know use these parameters to to really do this entire operation in just one command so i just wanted to give you uh, both the ways either uh, or i would suggest that if you are a beginner you know go step by step 
and execute each and every line so that you can really understand what is really going on and once you become really familiarized with it remember this this command document or matrix that it can it accepts another argument control where you can provide all of these different cleaning you know uh, commands uh, as part of whether it is true or false so ideally you would like true if if you do not want any of the thing like remove numbers then just remove it from here so that's the uh, that's another thing or another efficient way i wanted to show you before closing the video and i will meet you in the next video with uh, discussion on the modeling of this data till then bye bye